to Santa Fe about five years ago, and then met Oliver Greer, who had the dead insect, mounted insect collection, and it was the perfect uh, combination uh, to make the museum. Hi folks, I'm Oliver Greer. I am the curator and creator of this Crawlywood Bug Collection that is currently on display at the Harold House Bug Museum here in Santa Fe at the humble little Tavardis Mall. And as you can see, what started as a childhood hobby just kind of got out of hand and took on a life of its own. There are 31 display cases here at Harold House containing 2,400 bugs, each of which I pinned and set myself and arranged myself in these display cases. However, at home I have 5,800 more bugs, bringing the total to over 8,000. And I'm almost finished pinning those. I've got 4,800 pinned, 1,000 to go. Every week I work on a few of them. And the goal is to get all 8,000 displayed together and on tour to museums throughout the country. The response that the collection has gotten here has just been overwhelmingly, unanimously, 110% positive. And I never imagined that the hobby would become part of a business and receive such recognition. Well, when I was 10 years old, uh, well, since birth, I was morally afraid of spiders, and I still am. Just scream like a girl, nauseous, dog, puking afraid of spiders. But at age 10, I stumbled upon a very large dead wasp in our backyard in Tiburon, California, where I was living at the time. And it was just a thing of beauty with orange wings and a big black body. And I was a small child, so this wasp looked enormous to my, compared to my small hands. And it was dead, so there's no worry of being stung. But I looked it up in our insect encyclopedia, the V.J. Stanek Encyclopedia of Insects, published in 1968, and I still have it. And making the connection between the dead wasp in my hand and the picture in the book and the information about it is what made the connection for me that this is interesting, that bugs are interesting. And reading the rest of the book planted the seed in my head of having someday a really cool bug collection of all the big neat bugs in the book. And I have since fully accomplished that and then some. Do you get a lot of bug collectors that come in to look at the collection? or is it We do. I mean, most of our visitors are just casual people who are interested. You know, just like you would go to a zoo or, or any other museum. You know, uh, just people who just want to, you know, it sounds interesting, let's go check it out. Uh, we get families with kids. I mean, it's very appealing to children. Um, but uh, we do occasionally get pretty serious uh, entomologists in here um, to, to check out the collection. Going back to the uh, question of are these objects, well, when they're alive, they're life forms. When they're dead and they have no life force in them anymore, then yes, they're definitely valuable, collectible objects. And it's important that people know that this is a noble pursuit, that the preservation of insects in a collection like this is so much more educational than most people can ever imagine because there are so many life forms on this planet that we don't know about. And we've got to be more aware of our surroundings. And this contributes to that. Hey everybody, and thanks for joining us for our latest video where we bring you the best of the old, the new, the odd, and the wonderful. So if you're interested in this video or our channel, go ahead and subscribe below. Also, if you need an appraisal done or if you have items that you need restored, you can go to our website because we also offer service, and that is at kirstensantiques.com. That's K-A-Antiques.com. You can also follow us on all of our social media platforms for the newest and the latest and the greatest on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. We also do contests where you can win really cool stuff like this. <laughs> Sign <Science> balls, <laughs> shot glasses, or even a t-shirt. So go ahead, follow us today, get with it, and we're going to be bringing you new content every day. Thanks.